This is Batman calling from Wade Manor. To all my friends at MetacomCon in Old Space VR, I hope you have a wonderful time. And just know that I am so proud of the superheroes that you are. Especially Homies HQ, Sherwin, Blue Moon, and City Girl for their line of production. Fire Charge and MC, the MRE makers. Honey, the world builder. Ryu, the cosplay. Sparrow, the director. All of you should be so proud of what you do. This is for you. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. <laughs> okay, now this is Kevin. I think it is great that you are doing this virtual real reality uh, con and uh, keeping the spirit going. You know, during the last two and a half years, we've had to do everything virtually, right? Everything's been over the internet, and nothing in person. And uh, we've managed to keep the energy going at these virtual Comic Cons. So I am so happy that you came together as a community and did this, created this. I think you should be so proud of yourself. Now, I am calling you from the library of Wayne Manor. As you can see, I'm surrounded by a whole cast of characters. I've got Batman over this shoulder. I've got another Batman behind me. There's Superman. There's um, Robin, The Flash, Harley Quinn, Hawk Girl. Wonder Woman's up top, and way up top out of sight are like John Jones and Martian Manhunter. I've got them all, because I've been collecting them for almost 30 years, because I've been doing this role for 30 years, which is pretty crazy for an acting job, when you think about it. But Batman the Animated Series became Batman and Robin, then Batman Beyond, then the Justice League, then the Arkham games, then Justice League Unlimited, and then all the direct-to-video movies. I mean, it just kept growing and growing over time. And what's really been interesting about it, aside from playing this wonderful, dark, brooding character, and aside from the great actors I've gotten to work with, what's really been interesting and something I didn't anticipate is this interaction with the audience, this dialogue. I didn't appreciate when I started how passionate people are about Batman. There's a unique connection there. Um, and it's not like that for Superman or Wonder Woman or The Flash. It's different with Batman. And I think the reason is that because of all the superheroes, he's actually the only one who's not a superhero. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing supernatural about Batman. He can't fly. He can't see through walls. He has no powers. He's a man. He's a human being. He's like you and me. In fact, he's a very flawed man. And he knows he's flawed. He's been damaged by life. But we're all flawed, right? We all get damaged by life. So it makes Batman that much more relatable because he's so much like us in a way. What distinguishes him is that no matter what life throws at him, no matter what crisis or challenge or failure, he doesn't let it defeat him. He doesn't let it make him angry or bitter or crush him. He takes that pain that life throws at him and he turns it into something positive and he gives it back to the world as love. Because his whole mission is to leave the world better than he found it. And it's the nobility of that mission. That's what we admire so much about him. But that's something we can all try to live up to in our lives. You don't have to have superpowers to want to give to the people in your life, to want to leave the world a better place. Look how you, as a community, have come together to create MetacomCon. That is creating something to contribute to the community. So you're living the Batman spirit. And that's something we should all do every day. Because everyone faces challenges in life. You know that. Everybody faces crisis and failure at something at some time because we're human. And everyone needs help. We all stumble in life, every one of us. But that's not what defines us. What defines us is how we get back up and learn from our mistakes and get back into life and contribute. That's what defines you. You have no control over what fate throws at you. You don't know it's coming tomorrow or next month or next year. Life throws curveballs at everybody, everybody. But what you do have control over is how you react to those curveballs. You can let them crush you and make you bitter, or you can learn from them. 
and take that knowledge and get back into life. That is a choice we face every day. And you know what's the most important tool when you face those challenges in life? It's not the, mo that's not the material stuff, the stuff that we're told is so important. What really matters are the people in your life, the lives you touch and the people who touch your life, the love you put out into the world, the effect you have on the world. That's what matters at the end of the day. So have a great MetacomCon. I am with you in spirit. Remember, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you.